happens all the time. So, that's our plan. The station next to this one is Revolution Square. One of us. Red. And Revolution is fitting distance to Polis. So, I, as a good communist, which I am, will vouch for you. They'll have to let you through. And you'll be home in no time. What do you think? Are you the one they just told us about? Yes, we are. Great. Come in then. So, my Spartan friend, have a look around. Oh, There's yeah. plenty Take to see here. Huh? Everything is I'll right. talk to my people Everything and find you. Welcome, and have a good rest. But you do understand that we can't wait here forever. Surviving theatrical critic. Bullets for mercy on your souls. So, young men, I see you like my witty sign. There is a place for everyone in this underground. Murderers, whores, tyrants, money changers, even peasants for Christ's sake. All are welcome here. Even lousy actors. I live in a theater where we breathe the miasma of the decaying Bolshoi. This station is overpopulated with the ghosts of the opera. But is there a place here for the best critic of our once great country? Hell no. I tell the truth. And I am repaid with insults and poverty? I say more a disgrace to the name of Bolshoi. And they reply, now Bolshoi is us and us alone. They're immune to criticism. They choose money over art. And these poor souls traveling from all over Metro to see the glorious Bolshoi? They are played for fools. They say that art only interests the well-fed. But, my young friend, I will argue that even the hungry need art. For thinking on exalted matters dulls the pain of an empty stomach. But, sadly, true art is 20 years gone. What remains is profane trash. And so my own hunger persists. Will you honor what we've lost by perhaps donating a bullet? Uh, so there are still men, not just marionettes. I disgust myself. Here we sit, things, party lights, when all around us radiation, death, decay, and endless war. Death and decay. That's exactly why we need theater. A drink and a show warms your body and soul. Without that, I would may as well end it all. Wow! That is a really appetizing smell you have here, Simeon. Is it something new? No, as if mushrooms with mushroom sauce. Hey, keep your hands out of the pot, or you're getting smacked in the head. Sorry. Katya, sorry. Why? What happened? Litya didn't make it. How? They were heading back. A demon appeared. We all hit the ground and shot at the demon until it fled. No one suffered the scratch. But Vitya didn't get up. His mask, it had cracked open on a brick. And you, you left him there to die. No, Katya, yeah, we tried to save him. But it was too late. Wow, that's a demon. So scary, just like the a real demon. thing. A demon! Look at the club he has! It's attacking! No, that's as he flaps its wings like this when taking off. And my dad hey, saw lots of demons. So You're right, Uncle Misha, this is a demon. The Bolshoi Theater, well, the pride it's... of Russia. The left, All right. the Bolshoi Theater. Demon. But there is only Vitya. When do we become even father? Have you got enough money to last a week? 
protect yourself. A week, two days maybe. Then my life is over. And it took so long to save up. Oh well. Good riddance. At least I had some fun in the end. What? You give up already? Shit. Well, the we case still is make it to Luke, stalkers. But instead of these are aids. will me. Look, good luck. I got money for Come again. So drinks are on me. Self-defense. Bullets, bullets, purchase, exchange, sale. What I like about a shot is that you can basically convert it into a long shotgun with adult Ammo, stock and sale. other stuff. Bullets Good exchange. luck, man. Shrooms, great shrooms. This can't is great stuff. Anywhere. The best you'll find. I don't know, it's prohibited. Maybe I'll just get the drink instead. This guy can prove I was here since this morning. Get up with this. You pitch the first time when we can sleep like this. If your own rights is around, then just tell us some standing room. You can drink anything. Well, Artyom, I made all the arrangements. We can go to the revolution now. They will let us in through the field. Don't twist your arm. Just don't come back in ten minutes. When you change your mind, it all begun. Wait a minute, I gotta think. Stop. Think faster. Look, there's another twist. If you don't buy this, he's sure to. Did you hear that? Sure. Come in. Well, Stanislavski, you can watch the show if you like. I'll wait for you at the dressing room. If you'd be so kind. The can can. of the art. Sorry for the so other performers now. Their attempts are impressing Where have you been? You don't like us anymore? But, <laughs> Helen, no, Shto, I'm, I'm totally in love with you girls, but I've been busy with work. I'm, I'm very, very sorry. I'll come back soon. I promise. Yeah, this man you Google. spits in the Jana, eye let me use your power. Challenges nature. In your dreams, you have your own world. Use that. Once again. It's no good. Why can't your boyfriend buy you something Our better? Welcome. Her boyfriend is cheap, totally. that's why. Animal trainer. Artyom? No, Artyom? Looks like you're a bit woman hungry, huh? Well, yes, yes, it's a hard life without a soft More refugees. What's going on? Anyways, I tell you, we should be going, but uh, let's drink to the fact we are still alive, huh? It's on me, okay? Here you are, two of our specials from the old stock. Been infusing it for half a year. 
Опа! That's great! So, let's drink, Артём! Фу! Хорошо пришла. Smooth stuff, а? Huh? And this is a good place, but uh, home is the best, you know? You know, I've traveled all over the metro, and people talk all kinds of shit about the Red Line. That it's awful there, there's no food, and we shoot comrades for nothing, and you can't even tell a joke without getting arrested. Wait, let's have another drink. Here goes, Artyom! Wow! So, <clears throat> yes, our life is a bit strict. One party, one leader, one ideology, but... We have order, and everything is shared. Food, medicine, fuel, shelter. No rich men, true, but no beggars either. Another drink. And now, to equality. Come on, Artyom. No, 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 pay that now. Ooh, хорошо прошла. Ah, where was I? Ah, yes. Yes, look, look at the far stations. The freaking... Eat each other, sell their kids as slaves, it's like the Stone Age. Left to his own devices, a man becomes a beast, you know? Order, order, is all that matters. That's, that's our salvation. So you can believe whatever, but I am red. I am red until the day I die. I drink to order. Come on, Artyom, come on! Bottoms up! Bottoms up! So, my friend, that's how it goes. Don't be mad, Artyom. Just doing my job to protect the red line. And you, Musketeer, are from the wrong side of the barricade. Private, take this comrade in. Yes, Major, sir. Yes, sir. Major. It is private. That was so stupid of me. I bought that talk of friendship. The stupid musketeer saying, Just you wait. I will get even. I wonder though, why did Pavel go through the trouble of trapping me? Stop that, blah! It's just being over enthusiastic, you know? Artyom, look, I think of you as my friend, really. But as a soldier, you understand that I had to follow my orders and bring you here, okay? Now, you're under arrest, but perhaps it's not the end of the line for you. I hope. We, the people of the Red Line, have Good day, sir. Good day, sir. At ease, товарищ. So, you're doing good here? Are you not? Yes, sir. Comrade Moskvin is here, inspecting the troops. The Secretary General? Here? What about Comrade Korn? Yes, sir. Comrade General is here, too. Opa, it's my lucky day, huh? Okay, things are moving faster than we anticipated. Look, Artyom, you're a smart guy, so we understand there is no such thing as coincidence. You are here because we need you. Have information. So, my advice to you, my friend? Cool. Okay. But don't worry, I got your back. Because we are what? Musketeers! All for one, and one for all. But your comrades in the order, their motto is all for us. War is coming, my friend. That bunker you guys found, whoever controls it survives and fuck the rest of us. But we have been preparing for this. And I want you to join us. That's all. Good day, Comrade General! Comrade Morozov, I was beginning to think you had not survived your mission. I was captured, Comrade Corbett. This stranger here, uh, saved me. What a coincidence! Lisnitsky, you're one of the Spartan Rangers. Do you know this man? Yes, sir. His name is Artyom. Miller trusts him. They found the six together. He's also earned several commendations since officially enlisting with the Order. 
Well, I am overjoyed to meet you, Comrade Artyom. I think we both have something to offer. Take the comrade to the negotiation room. Young man, let's dispense with the introductory probing and cut to the chase. Hmm? This telepathic mutant, the so-called Dark One, is of extreme scientific significance. Tell me all you know about it, and I will allow you to keep your life and your job with the Rangers. <laughs> but, as my spy, an operative, just like those uh, musketeers, one for all, and all for... Secretary General Comrade Moskvin. Corbut, I need a moment. And what do we have here? Another enemy of the revolution? <laughs> Perfect. As you have always noted, Lonya must start learning how to improve his uh, people skills. As a matter of fact, we were... Yeah, put away your truth serums. I'll show you a more traditional Red Army method. Faster and more effective. You shit! Spill your guts now! Tell everything you know of these six! Huh? Oh. Fuck! Still nothing, huh? <laughs> okay, kid, bitch! You talk, or I'll fry your balls in pig fat! Passwords, code names, operation protocols! What are you doing, Dad? This is called interrogation, Lonya. Interrogation. Business as usual. What? You never did that playing dolls? No! You little shit! There's no power without blood! There is! Your brother ruled peacefully, and they still love him! Get back here! You're a thug! God damn it! Butcher. All right. Use your drugs. Use hot pokers! Just get everything out of him, and shoot the bastard! And then come to my office. We must talk. Come back here! You may be my son! Oh, I must agree with Leonid. Brutality is a crooked path to information. I believe in science. One injection and you will tell us everything. I need you to go to Venice and take care of the locals who made the delivery. This will not be a cash payment. Understand? Completely, sir. And uh, what about the Dark One? The creature has been located. The details are in this envelope. You will pick up the animal right after you go to Venice. Don't disappoint me this time. I won't, Comrade General. I, uh, I won't. Morozov, and the revolution, and my own future! I'd rather be shot and end up like father, killing his own brother. Listen, if you get out of here, just, well, just live! Here, get in there! This is the way to freedom. Believe me, I know. <laughs> I spent all my childhood hiding from my father in those vents. Well... Good luck to you!
Titan, sit down, Corbett. Let's talk. About the negotiations in Polis? Ah, so you already know. I am the head of intelligence, after all. Then why did you let the information leak? Damned refugees. Polis, Hansa, and even the fucking Nazis already know about our plans! The rats will be exterminated. And war is inevitable anyway. Inevitable? I have my doubts. So does the Politburo. A doubtful man is a fearful man. How dare you! You're the head of state security, and you report to me! Yes, but now, when we are one step away from a unified Red Metro, you have no right to disrupt the plan. I have no right?! I'm... Moscovin, when you asked me how to deal with your elder brother when he was still the Secretary General, I helped you. And after his tragic death, I bucked your takeover. So I suggest you take my advice again. This is unacceptable. It's very simple, Comrade Moskvin. We all stand together, arms linked against the wind. Or it's every man for himself. But, Corbett, is this whole fucking metro truly worth the blood we're going to spill? I have a way of doing it without spilling any blood. No blood, you say? All right. Go do your trick. I'll handle the police bureau. Frontal assault is hopeless, but if we go underground to the church, advance through the catacombs, then attack from the rear, we should encounter little or no resistance. Then we just have to do a sweep. Attention! Comrade General! Soldiers, you are trusted with an important mission. Each group has its task, and you have been told only what you need to know to succeed. But remember that this operation is top secret, and you must not be taken alive by the enemy. I hope that I am understood. Questions? Can we use radios after we capture the assigned targets? Only in case of emergency, and on a scrambled frequency. If we're faced with strong enemy counterattacks, do we hold the positions or fall back? Hold them. Anyway, the enemy is unlikely to mount an effective counteroffensive. Comrade General, we have been issued a banner along with the other gear, but we were also made to remove all our markings. We will leave no trace of our operation. Only upon victory and receipt of the following signal will you raise your banner over the captured targets. Further questions? No, Comrade General. Good luck, then. Serving the Red Line! Now I am in a real spider-infested catacombs, where the General Secretary Moskvin does not look like the head spider. That title clearly belongs to General Corbett. I sure would like to know what's on his mind. What did Lesniski bring him from D6? What's going to destroy the enemies of the revolution? Only questions and no answers. The only thing that is clear, Pavel has information on the Dark One, which makes him my current target. Fuck me. 
Shooting is one thing, but we can't burn people alive. What do you mean? People? Shooting? Are you out of it? Aren't you talking about the refugees? What refugees? Let the special department handle them. I'm talking real rats, tails and all. They multiply like crazy. Huh? So you go and do it. On the double. Yes, sir. All right. 
I've been ordered to assign you all some tasks. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> what happened, Andre? Construction's in a crunch mode. They're short on hands, so they're putting us on this. Huh, I see. Well, since you do, go on and give those two either yeah. something to do. Yes, sir. Find something to do yourself, too. Them drafts. Catching a cold definitely seems a possibility. <laughs> It's the only thing that kept me alive. But what the hell happened? Why? You don't know about the bridge? Sure, I know the place. I served there for a short time. Well, last year there was one hell of an incident. The guy said that when they came to relieve the watch, all of the sentries on our side of the bridge were dead. Hey. So the lieutenant sent some scouts to the Nazi post on the other end. What? Thanks. <laughs> 
What the? This is some kind of noise. I... Dress. What the fuck? Where's the next shift anyway? Huh? Hey, what the fuck was that? Down there! Watch out for your head! What the hell? More radioactive trash. This shit already stored to capacity. This keeps up. We'll be glowing like stalkers. Shut up, that's our job. Just be happy to don't move the collectors to the center. Look, are more deliveries today? Well, that was the last one. Hey, I'm taking a small break. Don't take too long. You know what happens to those who fail to turn up at roll call? One moment.
Here. I'm ready. Then let's move along the lead. Right, Fuck! Seems like. Okay, Lata. Please exchange your temperature. No, no. Fucking grass. Let me show them that. All right. Let them all out. Get the separator. A okay. Low red. Normal. See this is gas pressure. Standard. Great, got that. Let's move to the second. One moment. Okay, Ladna. This is gas pressure. A okay. Met an all up with the separator. Nominal. Great, got that. <laughs> Congratulations, the service check is complete. Bye bye, how about the smoke break? Yeah, sure. <laughs>
How long do I fucking stand here, piecing me off? Signed the manifest? I sure did. Where did you put the goods? Wherever I had space left. Top shelves mostly. Can you be more specific? Specific? Wherever I left the ladder. There's our goods. My ship's nearly over. Best of the other guy when he arrives. All right, all right. I'll go and check if everything's still there. Alarm! They're here! 
freaking shit! Stand here much longer. Yeah. They should be coming back from the war soon. Did you ever do watch duty there? Yeah, it's a creepy place. The station's nearby. Machine gun, searchlight, your comrades are around. There's something rustles in the cobwebs in the sound. It's freezing. Why not burn those whips? We will have all the time. In a couple of weeks, the damn beast has everything to do. That was no fucking oh, spiders to keep that damn... What the? How should I know? It looked like a human, with a large bag at that. But when I lit the place up, there was nothing. Don't worry about it. Weird shit starts happening after a six-hour watch. Maybe. But somebody is stealing the parts and food. Probably one of ours. Waiting till our backs are turned, then selling shit to Hansa. Either way, the brass better not give you trouble. If you say too much, they'll pin it on you. down or your brain goes splat wait a minute artyom is it you 
I was able to send the report back to the order via my old acquaintance, Andrew the blacksmith. At least Miller will know that I am alive, that I haven't completed the mission, but haven't resigned from it either. That's one serious pickle you're in. But I can help. I have friends, and they have friends, who can relay everything you tell me to your guys from the Order. So, now you must return home to Polis? Well, there's no direct route. Everything's cordoned off here. But I believe the Order has an outpost nearby. On the surface, the church and the marshes. Try that place. If we can get word to your people, they might meet you there. As for me, I started life anew, left Kuznetsky most, the Reds completely subverted the place, looking for traitors and spies, sending people to camps, or just shooting them, all because of the coming war. People are fleeing from Kuznetsky most and their whole Red Line. Did you see the armored train the Reds are building? Well, we built something too, with the stuff the refugees are bringing. Here, take a look. At this baby, the boys even gave her a name. You can't help but fall in love with her. She did a swell job running refugees. But hell, you can't save everyone. So, take it. We have people in Venice, too. When you get there, find Woodpecker and tell him where you left our baby. Climb aboard! Come on, climb aboard. <laughs> 